In this series, we're going to cover basic attacks from the quarter position sideways here. So I'm approaching my opponent. I establish a good quarter position stance here where my knee is slow, my foot is planted so I can have drive off that foot in case he tries to stand up and get out of here. And now I'm going to start looking for chokes here. We're going to do the basic clock choke, the clock choke variation, grabbing the opposite collar and rolling over, and we're going to show you a basic clock choke defense. The first thing I need to do with a clock choke here is get a good first grip. So my hand is going to come over the top in front of his arms, I'm going to get his gi right there. It's very important not to try to overreach with the grip, meaning that you don't want to bend your wrist upwards because you're losing power. So I'm keeping my wrist pretty much straight. There's slight tilt to my forearm, but the wrist is straight. And this is how high I want to grab. Not higher than that, definitely not lower than that. So let's open it up. I grab right here. This is the proper height. Once I get that grip there, my opposite grip will be over the top and I'm going to go ahead and grab the far wrist, like so. Now, the goal here is to bring that man down so I don't want him to be on his elbows as I'm executing the clock choke. So what I will do here is to bring that wrist in and now I'm going to break his balance forward. How am I going to accomplish that? by bringing my left shoulder between his shoulder blades as high as possible. If I'm flexible enough and I can get it to the back of his neck, that's excellent. If not, I'm going to take whatever I can get. So right here, here. Now as I do that, watch as I pull him forward. I pull him forward and I now throw that leg over. I'm ready to execute the clock choke here. I'm going to pull up and I'm going to start walking. As soon as I start walking, he will tap. So, right here, here, and controlling the wrist. Bring that wrist in, so you're going to be able to break him down. Now, force everything forward, and my shoulder follows through. So, I'm trying to drive his face into the mat. I'm trying to bounce his face off the mat. As I do that, I bring my shoulder as high as possible. I won't be able to do that and maintain the same base, so I'm going to shoot my left leg through like this. And now, sometimes I will get the tap here, otherwise I'm going to have to walk through. As I walk through, I pull that geek collar up, and it's very easy for me to get the tap. If I cannot get the tap right away, keep on walking and the tap will come. There's a simple variation to the clock choke and that involves